Thank you, Catherine. And good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here with all of you. And thanks to the efforts of the entire House Democratic Caucus, we are well positioned to have the right resources, the candidates, the message, and the momentum to take back the House in November for the American people. The DCCC recently announced an incredibly strong year of fundraising, having outraised the NRCC by $30 million and bringing in a total of $121 million in 2023. In addition to the committee's strong fundraising, Democratic frontliners and challengers, on average, have outraised Republican opponents last quarter. With our resources, we will amplify our message and turn out voters. We're working to ensure that we reach a diverse coalition of voters through our Power the People initiative and our In It Together hubs. These programs represent a $35 million investment to persuade and mobilize communities of color, ensuring that we're strategic and intentional about how we engage voters to combat misinformation. We know these communities are critical to our democratic coalition and we aren't taking a single voter for granted. We also announced our first slate of red to blue candidates last week. Um, we have multiple paths to take back the majority and the geographic diversity of this list includes candidates from Iowa, Michigan, Montana, California, Arizona, New York, and more. And it reflects the many opportunities we have. These candidates also reflect the broad and diverse Democratic coalition, presenting a clear contrast to the chaos, dysfunction, and extremism of their Republican opponents. And the first real opportunity to demonstrate our momentum and resolve is just a few days away. The people of New York's third congressional district deserve responsible leadership and someone they can trust to represent them. Former Representative Tom Swazi is the perfect fit for the district. He has a proven record of delivering for his community. He's run a very strong campaign in an incredibly short amount of time. We're doing all we can to engage voters and send him back to Congress. This election is about our rights, our freedoms, our democracy, and our future. And the DCCC is committed to taking back the House this November and ensuring that Leader Jeffries becomes Speaker Jeffries. So I want to thank all of my colleagues for their incredible support and hard work. Um, thank all of you for joining us at the Issues Conference. And now it's my honor to introduce someone who has been a longtime leader of the Democratic Caucus, who has been a mentor to all of us and a strong voice standing up for our communities across the country, our assistant leader, Jim Clyburn.